Hey guys, Mike Martin's here with the Mike Martin's channel. Welcome to Morning Coffee with Mike. It is coffee time. The entire city is in complete shutdown. Uh, all the main streets are closed off here. Um, it, it's interesting. At least we get one or two days of this. I don't care. Unlike other cities, like I drove through Alberta, it was a complete nightmare a couple of times. Driving through even, even Sask Saskatchewan. Like every road was under a thing. Down to one lane on the highway. Everything was under construction. It's like, wow, for the locals it must be tough. But you know what? For two days of the year, I really it really doesn't bother me that much. It's, oh well, I could walk to work. What's my excuse? I could walk to work, Mike. Why are you driving then? I could walk to work every morning if I really wanted to. But I like to come up to the hill here. See, I'm not going to work right now. I'm actually going up the hill to get a coffee or to get myself breakfast. So people are like, wow, you actually drive five minutes to get to work, Mike. Not one or two or ten minutes, right? No, 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 no. I, I'm coming up here because I, I want to come up here, right? And damn, damn, damn. It is fall. And it is 19 centigrade outside. And um, yeah, you guys, guys, you got to check me out on the dirty, man. I'm almost, I think I'm at 100, 100 comments. I check it out every day because uh, I'm sitting at about 100 comments right now. And uh, man, it all stems from... It, it, most of it is coming from uh, the one guy here in town. I opened up, he actually admits to it in a couple of things. I got screenshots of it where he goes, I don't care if you know it's me. I'm allowed to form an opinion. And yeah, so I did a whole series called Merit Harassment Series. I'll leave it at the end of this video if you guys want to see it. It's, it's an, an interesting series where some guy from the chamber, the chamber here, the, the, the small business. You know how when small businesses get together and they uh, basically um, unify and, you know, I'm not part of that because the former president was this guy that's, that's been giving me and my family a hard time. Every time he sees me, he gives me the finger every, like, oh, I have the footage from now I got from the, from the um, pharmacy. Oh, like, you should have seen him go nuts in the pharmacy. Holy, two times in the pharmacy. Two different incident, incidences. And in my store, I got video footage of him telling us off and threatening me. And, um... Hi, can I get a number four, please? With a medium coffee with one cream? Did you want to get you hash browns in that meal today? Yeah, sure. Are you guys selling the Mc McTasters now, or that's later? Sorry? The McTasters? The, the Mick Tasters. The Mick Tasters? Those are the, under the lunch menu, so they'll be done, they'll start at 11. Oh, okay, no problem. Okay, and I'll get a number five with a medium coffee. Uh, with one cream. Number five, and was that on a plain cream, cinnamon, or everything bagel? Uh, plain. And did you want two hash browns in that meal, too? Yeah, sure. Yes, please. For sure. And did you want any ketchup or salsa in the bag? Yeah, give me some salsa for the for the burritos. You bet. Okay, and did you want to try a protein smoothie today? Oh, no, I'll pass on the protein smoothie. That's okay. All right. Is right. everything for you? Yes, ma'am. Dude, it'll be 1867 at the first window, please. Thank you. You're welcome. 1867. What happened in that year, 1867? I know the Civil War was going on. 1967. Hey, your uh, speaker there is kind of broke, like uh, it's, it's it's staticky. Yeah, yeah, they've been told half the time I can't hear anybody. Else. Yeah, I know, I know. I feel sorry for you guys, and it's like, what? You didn't hear him? It's like, uh, no. <laughs> it is what it is. But I got your order, so. Thank you, ma'am. Bye. Yourself. Have a good okay. week. Thank you. It sounds like tropical radio. Yeah, anyways, so yeah, it's like, you know, it's a uh, small business, you know, like, I don't understand it. I don't know why someone could be that ruthless to somebody else because they open a business similar to theirs. It's it's really, I don't know, like when I was in Vancouver, when I had my store down there, I was right in the, right in the, the center of the city. I was right at Stadium Skytrain, right across the street from where the Vancouver Canucks play, right in the heart of the city. And my store was there. 
uh, probably one of the longest standing uh, still today for many years, 15, 16 years now, in total, it's been there, okay? Because 13 years on the coast. But to be very frank with you guys, that um, place, I had about 20 stores around me. Lots of them opening, closing, different, you know. I even had a guy open two blocks away from me. Uh, uh, board Game Warriors, I think they were, and they didn't even know I was in that mall. They opened two blocks away from me, and... People just started um, telling me there's a new store. I'm like, okay, cool. And I think the owner came by and he was really mad. He's like, man, I didn't do my research. I should have. And he closed and moved to New Westminster. Oh, one cream, but that's okay. Uh, oh, yeah, you're right. One cream in each. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, technically two coffees and two cream. He was right, technically. So yeah, so that's what's happening with that. So, like, you know, I, I don't know. Like, you know, a lot of the stuff on the dirty is coming from a guy locally in town calling me Big Titty Mike. That's all from him. All of that's from him. Uh, and it's entertaining. It is very entertaining. But it's just when my, when he sees me or my wife, he sees my wife and gives her the finger. It's like, okay, buddy, like, you know, you got to back off. Seriously. I told him where I am, 1925 called Gina. Just come and you don't have to do this, you know. I have a lot of screenshots of him even uh, uh, saying, oh, I don't care if you know it's me. Thanks. Everything's in here, right? Okay. Everything's in here, right? Thank you. Yeah, because last time there was half the stuff missing, like three times in a row. But it's McDonald's. What do you expect, right? So, okay. Back to, back to basics, what I wanted to say. Back to basics. So that's what's going on, guys. Like, it's like... You open a small business in a small town, you would think that people would be actually happy for that and you're, you're, you're beautifying the town. My store looks awesome. You're beautifying your town, you're making making stuff look good. And uh, in the end, nobody wants you there and, and small town. But luckily I got a lot of surrounding cities. Like in the last month, I've, I've like the last past month, I did my PST. I do my PST monthly, right? And I was just in shock when I found out how much I made that month. I was in shock that that I did decently, right? I cover all my spread, my bills, my orders, my 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 everything. I, I took care of all business and and took some a little bit for me to live, right? And I was in shock that that I'm doing that well, you know, from a new location, new this, new that, but. A lot of it is from out of towners, right? A much like ninety percent of my business is from people from um, from out of town, right? It's about forty percent from Kamloops, thirty uh, percent from Kelowna, ten uh, percent from Princeton, and then I got people from all around, like Lower Nicola, like other areas that come in. And a lot of them don't care about the small time marriage drama. They don't care about drama and marriage. It doesn't reach out to them. They don't care right so that's what's good I'm, I'm a destination store right which is a good thing right and I'm kind of happy about that I kind of made it still you know I kind of was I kind of was imagining it was going to be more of a tumbleweed blowing by in my store just sitting there watching the tumbleweed roll down the road man was I dead wrong man was I ever dead wrong super busy the second I open those doors unlock not even 10 minutes after unlocking the doors there's already people coming in lot one two three four it just all day I tried to edit a video yesterday for you guys and man it took me the whole day to edit a six minute video because every couple of minutes there's people coming right so so yeah you know, and uh, I don't really participate too much in town. Like I, 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 you know, support maybe the hockey team here. I buy tickets from them. I, um, you know, a couple of things here and there, but I don't do too much. Like when they have those events, I did have the chair walk, chair walk of fame and stuff. But you know, I like community. I like unifying community. I like all that stuff. It's great, right? But you know. There's a lot. There's there's people in town that don't like change. There's people in town that like the old school mentality, which is fine. You're not gonna blame them, right? But then what do you do when Canada as a mass whole is going through a massive change? What do you do then, right? 
I wouldn't be living here. I would probably have stayed in Vancouver if the average house was similar was was similar or or in line with wages, right? Like you'd be very you'd be you guys would be impressed if you if you if you knew what my wage was when I had my store in downtown. You guys would be impressed. You'd be like, "Wow, Mike." Like that's impressive, you know? But I'm I'm I just there's no there's no way doctors can't do it nobody can do it right city's completely bought out rich investors came in and completely bought us out and uh, I like it when they talk about money laundering through real estate and stuff and all this stuff but when you read articles they avoid the truth of the matter they always say the Italian mob is doing this I'm like yeah the Italian mob for the average citizen doesn't buy out their futures, because I'm reading the article about money laundering yesterday, and they're placing the Italian mob went to a casino and tried to launder this and that, and this and that. Oh, hold on a second. I don't think they're big enough, like, they're, they're, they're an organization, but they're not big enough to completely uproot Canada and, and, and completely displace everyone in the country. Uh, so, I think the media really needs to clamp down on, actually, when pointing the finger, and really finding what the true problems are in our society today, right? So if somebody wants to be upset with me living in town, don't be upset with me. Be upset with what's happening with our country, right? Be upset with what's happening with our uh, with our um, economy. Be upset with how so many Canadians are being displaced. Be upset with that. Don't be upset with me moving into town because I want to raise a family, you know, next step from here, we just moved to Portugal. You know? And Portugal, oh, Mike, it's a, 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 the toilet of Europe. I'm like, good. Because that means no one wants to go there. That means I'll have my, my peace and quiet. I'm a citizen there, so what do I care? Anyways, guys, I kind of wanted to throw this out there. I'm fasting till noon, so I got, oh, I got two hours to kill. So I could eat. Oh. <sighs> Yeah, so that's that. Anyways, I want to thank my Patreon supporters for coffee this morning and breakfast. I'm getting breakfast now because so so many good Patreon supporters now are supporting the cause. And I'm getting breakfast with my coffee. And that's going to piss off a lot of people. That's going to upset a lot of people that hate me. A lot of haters out there are going to be like, nobody buys me breakfast. I'm going to go make a fake account and trash them. I'm like 55 years old. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. God bless you guys.